I had to describe Kevin Morgan in one word, it would definitely be eclectic. Kevin is a hot dog flipper, coffee barista at Neutral Ground. Kevin is um, a co-founder of AMPS, AMPS Aquaponic Systems and Young Entrepreneurs of New Orleans. Most importantly, well not most importantly, but Kevin is a redhead. I'd like to introduce, introduce my good friend, eclectic friend, Kevin Morgan. Hello. So, a few weeks ago, I went home to visit mom and dad. Here's a picture of me with mom and dad. And uh, what I found when I went home to visit was that the few friends I had who had moved back home after graduating college were working these really boring jobs. I mean, these, these nine to five jobs. I mean, no offense to anybody who actually might work a nine to five job, but, but what I want to say is they, they really didn't seem like they used any of the creative thinking skills that you might have acquired during college. It all kind of seemed like an uh, uh, office space to me. <laughs> uh, there we go. This thing is uh, fun to use. There we go. Uh, all right. It all kind of seemed like office space to me. On the other hand, you have those friends who are struggling to find jobs. I obviously go the wrong way. Struggling to find jobs. And they might be participating in a social movement or something. So let me think. Graduating college in this economy, you have two options. You could go join a social movement or go occupy Wall Street. I mean, you could uh, go work a nine-to-five job. Hmm, which should I choose? Hmm. Well, what I propose is neither. Because you never change anything. What Buckminster Fuller said is you never change anything by fighting existing reality. To change something, you build a new model that makes the existing model obsolete. Now, what Buckminster Fuller said was that at what he was an inventor. And what he did was he, at, at one point, he, he, you know, he had this failed business venture. And he was really down and out. He failed at Harvard twice. And, and what happened was that he set on this mission, an, mission, a, an experiment Barked an experiment to find a single individual could contribute to society, benefiting all humanity. Now, he did not go this place without failing several times. He invented the Damaxian car, which ultimately ended up being a complete flop, ended up killing one of the drivers at an expo. But he did not give up there. Buckminster went on to invent the mathematics behind the geodesic globe, and it ultimately invented, there were ultimately 300,000 of these globes around the country. Now, you might be thinking, well, I'm not that good at math. How could I go invent a globe? Well, that's the thing. Innovation doesn't always have to be some big grand thing. It can really start small. I'll give you an example. My freshman year, I went home from Tulane during Thanksgiving, and I was thinking, how am I going to get home from Tulane to the airport? So I logged on to Facebook and created this Facebook group. I figured, well, people could write what time they're leaving and when they're going home, and everything, and they could meet each other. And within a few weeks, this Facebook group had about, I, I invented, invited about 50 people. In a few weeks, there were about 400 people in the group. Years later, there were over 1,200 people in this Facebook group. And people continue to join and leave the group, you know, all the time as they graduate, go on to better things, get cars, whatever. Um, <laughs> well, so my point is, and I have another example for you. On Forest Street, or in New Orleans, there was a lack of a hot dog restaurant. And that's when Skip Murray and Constantine Georges got together and created Dat Dog. Now you have people waiting down the street every week just to get a hot dog. And their business is so successful that they're moving it to a larger location in January. OK, so what do we want to do? What's our vision? Well, we see that there's a lack of freshly produced greens in New Orleans. What we want to do is produce greens all over the city. Right now, we might be growing greens here, but we'll be hopefully soon be setting up commercial ventures with greens growing here, 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 eventually all over the city. And maybe one day, you, all the greens consumed in New Orleans will be produced in New Orleans. So now you might, you might have an idea, but you're thinking, how am I going to go through this idea? Well, you're in luck, because New Orleans was just ranked the number one city for young entrepreneurs in the country. So you have all these resources available to you in New Orleans, and I especially wanted to point out 
the Change Break Institute at Tulane because that's where our company, Aquaponic Module Production Systems, that's where we all met. That's where we formulated our plan. So if you don't want to go home and move in with mom and dad, apply for the Change Break Institute. The application deadline's in several days from now. And create something here. Create jobs for yourself and your friends and everybody in New Orleans and boost local economy. Thank you.